So you're the person who has basically no friends at school, at university, in your neighborhood. You are the awkward type, the the one that people consider bizarre, strange. Um, no one can understand you. Um, you act in different ways, ways that people are not used to. You behave in different ways, ways that people are not used to. Is there something wrong with you? Is there a problem with you? Well, maybe yes. Maybe there is something wrong with you and um, you should try to... to find a solution for that, why you're having so many difficulties in relating with other people, in dealing with other people, why you cannot understand people, why people cannot understand you, why they always misinterpret what you do, what you say, and so on. And you should be paying attention to that. But you know what? Maybe there isn't something wrong with you. And then you're going to come up to me and say, oh, all right, but then it's me against the world. Everyone is saying that there is something wrong. So there is probably something wrong. Um, not necessarily, not necessarily. If you act differently, if you behave differently, if you do not share the same values that people share, you are just not part of the mass. You are just not part of the values that everyone shares. That doesn't mean that you are wrong. Of course, that can bring you difficulties to deal with people. It can bring you difficulties to, to relate yourself to other people, um, to, to find a job, to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend, um, to make friends and so on. Of course, that can bring you difficulties. But that doesn't mean that you have a problem. Uh, let me give an example. Um, consider the movie Mystic River. What happens with, the, my opinion, the main character from Mystic River? The one that at the end gets killed by Champagne, um, accused of having killed his daughter. Well, the guy went through a very bad experience in his childhood. And of course, he became a weirdo. He became a strange character. He behaves in strange ways. He is quite unusual in his behavior. Um, and he has lots of difficulties in relating himself to people, in dealing with people and so on. Um, he is a kind of shadowy guy, quiet, you know, kind of obscure and so on. But even though we could analyze that from the psychological point of view and say he's got a problem and he's, he needs to treat that problem. Um, the fact that matter here is the guy has a particular behavior. He has a particular way of being. And this way of being is causing him problems in his human relationships. But that doesn't mean that the guy is doing something wrong. That doesn't mean that the guy is a problem. It just means that the guy is different. Maybe you're not going to like this example and you're going to say, oh, okay, but the guy had an issue. He had a traumatic experience when he was a kid. All right, remove this example. Take someone who had a normal childhood, decent parents, but is just someone who is very introspective, very shy, has difficulties in dealing with people. Does this person have a problem? No, this person doesn't have a problem. This person has a specific character, a specific way of being, and this character and this way of being, they do not match with the current status quo, with the current way of things, with the current state of affairs. So this person is going to have difficulties. Um, dealing with people, making friends, finding a boyfriend or girlfriend, or maybe getting a job. But this person doesn't have a problem. This person doesn't need treatment. This person is different. And people have diff difficulties in accepting difference. People have difficulties in dealing with difference. Um, if you are someone who likes to stay more at home, who doesn't socialize that much, who for your young age don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't go out, you're not going to clubs and so on. You like staying home, reading books, watching good movies, movies that make you think. You like going to the opera or you want to learn a new language or you want to practice an instrument that is considered an instrument, I don't know, of classic music or for older people or whatever. There is nothing wrong with you. You do not have a problem. You just do not share the same values that people share. Bringing it to real life I mean, we're not out of real life, but bringing it to something more palatable for something more visual, something that you can can experience better 
consider the following. You're at school, you are whatever, 15, 16, 17 years old, and all your friends like to go to the movies to watch the blockbusters produced by Hollywood. And you don't. You like watching European movies, Indian movies, some Asian movies, um, Iranian movies, or something like this. Um, they are not the mainstream thing. They are not the thing that everyone is going to, to, to watch. They are not the things that everyone is willing to watch. Is there a problem with you? No, there is no problem with you, in my opinion, my friend. There is no problem with you. You simply do not share the values that the majority of people share. Of course, people will treat you like a weirdo. Of course, people will say you have problems and you need to solve them. Of course, people will try to make you feel bad about your behavior and about the way you are because as they do not understand you, they fear you, they don't like you, they cannot qualify you, they cannot imprison you in their self-made concepts or in the concepts that they were taught from childhood. So, of course, they're going to have problems with you. Of course, it's going to be difficult for you to deal with them. But I repeat, you do not have a problem. You just have a different way of being. You just believe different things. You just share um, different values. You just have different preferences. Do not let the fact that you are different affect you in a way that you think you need to be healed, you need to be cured, and do not let anyone make you feel like that. Now let's go to another point. If you have these different behavior, these different values, these uncommon ways of being and beliefs and so on, and you feel truly, deeply bothered with that you really think you want to, I don't know, socialize more, interact more with people, share their values or so on, then you do not have a problem. You just feel like you need to change a behavior that you have in order to interact more with people, like people who are shy and they search for theater, for dance, in order to be able to socialize more and make more friends. Or people who are extremely, I don't know, introspective and they stay home and so on and I don't know one day they try to go out or they end up downloading social media in order to interact with people if you feel like doing it because you want to experience better interactions better relationships um, you want to feel less awkward you want to feel less ostracized rejected and so on um, do it make the experience but never believing that you have a problem, that you have a disease that needs to be healed. Do it because you want to experience how would it be to live a different life? How would it be to interact with people differently? And do it because you want, because you, you feel like trying it, because your heart, your soul, whatever, they tell you, try it. Taste this different behavior, taste this different way of being. Don't do it because you feel isolated, rejected, or mistreated, or under-evaluated because of your way of being. Do not let society crush you. Do not let society um, bring you down and uh, the people around you put you down. Because one of the main rules in my life that drive me is respect people the way they are understand and accept differences and one thing that you're going to notice is if you learn that and if you practice that you will understand that at the same time that you understand people respect people and accept the differences around you people will not accept that you are different people will not respect and tolerate even in your family that you are different and what are you going to do about that you're not going to do anything. You are simply going to keep doing what you believe, what you think is correct, what you think is the best thing to do to live a good life. If people do not respect the way you are and they do not accept the way you are, you do not have to play their game. They are willing to make you play their game. They are willing to make you become like them. And becoming like them in this particular sense is not good. So don't do it.